In this video, I am going to show you the best workflow for changing backgrounds, whether your input image, our products, or even faces. And you can even use this latest and most powerful AI video generator tool, Kling, to turn the product you just lit into a full promotional video. No need for anything else to create an impressive presentation. In this video, I'll teach you everything from start to finish. It's an incredible workflow for changing backgrounds and lighting of products, which as you probably know, would normally take hours to set up in a real environment if done professionally. And usually to get high quality lighting, you'd need very expensive equipment, the right knowledge, professional cameras, and special steps. You'd have to understand different angles, lighting techniques, and it's a process that involves a lot of work. If you're not familiar with how to do it yourself, you'd have to pay a lot for a professional photographer to do so. Even if you do know how to do it, it takes a lot of time. But with this workflow, you can easily light any product, even faces, and change the background without affecting the size of the product and the face or the text printed on the product. All you need is a photo of a product, just load it into the workflow and you're good to go. So how does it work? I really appreciate if you like the video right now and subscribe the channel for my next fantastic tutorials. Here we have several models and I've included all the download links for them in the description. I won't make the video too long by getting into all of that here. You just download the models and place them where they need to go. It's super simple and doesn't require any special step. Okay, in this part, you load your main image and you already know you can just click this option and select your image or drag and drop any image you want which in this case is this product here, three products here. In this part, you can adjust the strength of the lighting effect. I got really good result with the value set around 0.19. You can reduce it a bit or increase a bit depending on your image and what you're going for. But around this value tends to give great results. In this part, we set the resolution to 1024 by 1024 and the reason is that the base model we're using is SBL Diffusion 1.5 which has the default size of 1024 by 1024. Try not to change this resolution. Leave it as is so the model can give you the best output. Then if you're happy with the result, you can use the upscaling workflows I've already shared with you to enhance the resolution and get a really high quality image. This is madness guys. Okay, this section here is the prompt input where you need to use prompt writing techniques specially tailored for stable diffusion. I'm going to share a list of prompts that I personally use for this workflow to give you a bit of guidance. But if you're already experienced with prompts writing, feel free to use your own skills or you can use ChatGPT alternatively. It doesn't really differ much from working with Flux. Just describe all the details you want. I include the prompts I've used so you can get some ideas and inspiration from them. This part is for the negative prompt. In the next section, based on the model I've placed here that called Epic Photo GSM, you need to set the number of steps to 25. Your CFG scale between three to five and for the sampler name choose dpm plus plus 2m and also got decent result using Euler a this one and for the scheduler you can go with Karas or use normal using these options really comes down to your own experience and preferences you don't need to tweak anything else just hit run and since your model is Based on Stable Diffusion 1.5, your workflow will run super fast. The 1.1 models are lightweight and allow for quick execution. Okay, finished. So here's our final result. You can see how well it interpreted our prompt. The prompt we used was this product in a lots of ice cubes, water splash, ice cubes, water drops, etc. 
you'll notice that I put part of the prompt in parentheses and added 1.1 at the end. This format is used to assign importance to a specific word or phrase. If you want the AI to pay more attention to a certain term, you can put it in the parentheses and follow it with a colon and a number greater than one. The number one is basically the same as not using emphasis, while 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, etc. increase the emphasis more and more. This formatting doesn't exist in Flux, but in Stable Diffusion 1.5 and XL, this is how you can boost the weight of a phrase. Okay, here you can see the output result and the quality is really excellent. Later on, you can also upscale it if needed. But pay attention, I have two outputs here. One is the regular output, which usually messes up the text a little bit. If you look closely at the original image, you'll notice that especially the smaller text is a bit distorted. So I designed the part in the workflow that helps recover these distorted words. And as you can see, many of the words have been restored much more clearly. For example, here you can clearly read coffee drink. And right here again, you see this word, 205 milliliters. This is the result we get. There's also an option here that I forgot to mention. If you're working with images like portraits or faces, you can use the same option to process your image, which is one of the default options or you can use the ones labeled 1.5 since our model is based on version 1.5. There's also another one called plus face portrait, which you can use for human face images. It softens the skin and face a bit more. I forgot to say, to avoid any issues or errors or the workflow performance, you need to click Manager and click Update All. This is super important, guys. Let's look at a few more examples with this workflow. Here we have a photo of a perfume bottle where I provided a prompt saying the product is placed on a round pedestal. The models used in the workflow are the same as before with the same number of steps and other settings and you can see how impressive the output is. All the details of the product are preserved and at the same time we have lighting applied to the product with the environmental light affecting it. Notice how beautifully it has managed to render the light reflections coming from behind, passing through the glass perfume bottle and hitting the ground. It's fantastic guys, it's amazing, I'm really enjoying this. You see based on the shape and cuts of the bottle, the light spreads on the ground in a star-like pattern in a very logical and realistic way. This is amazing and shows the high precision of this workflow. You can completely use it to light your products in a way that no one would notice it was done using AI. Okay, here's another product that's also made of glass. If you look closely at this part of the output, you can clearly see that all the letters and even the smaller text have been perfectly preserved without any issues. If you pay attention here, you'll notice that the background has a slightly brown tone and we've managed to see even the brown part of the background where the light passes through the glass which is clearly visible here. This completely shows that the workflow is compatible even with complicated subjects like glass type products. Also look here, the environmental reflections are visible on this part of the glass as well, which makes this workflow even more incredible. If you notice, the shadows here have been created with great precision. Since our product is made of glass, the shadow beneath it is slightly lighter compared to the shadow of the box which is made of paper. It has managed to handle this lighting in a very attractive way, making the first part brighter than the second part. It's truly amazing guys and you can definitely trust it. In each of these examples I'm showing you I made some slight adjustments to the prompt. 
you can completely change it if you want and even add different elements okay for the next example look here at how beautifully it has lit up this watch if you pay attention the color and lights are reflected very nicely on a watch and you can even see the reflection of the watch on the table below it's very clearly visible here's another prompt where i placed the watch on a rock under sunlight during the day and you can see how well it managed to light the product pay attention to the shadow and sunlight on the watch strap it has beautifully identified that the light is coming from that side this area of the strap has been lit accordingly while this part here is slightly raised above the rest and it's the glass part of the strap which has created a shadow and it is beautiful guys you see the light is coming in from this direction and the shadow is cast this way it's incredibly precise and detailed you can even see on the edge of the watch how the light which is coming from the other side has been reflected and rendered perfectly for next example here we have a sneaker and for its lighting i used yellow neon lights you can see how well it managed to create those neons in the background under the show there's a lighting effect that looks like light is shining from below and it has done that really well if you pay attention the word here brooks is written on the show and in the final output that word is still quite visible even though it was very small it was able to preserve it here is another example for our watch and this time placing it on a table with blue lights coming from the back the light is shining from behind and the shadow is cast in this direction the highlight and shadows are created very logically and naturally next one here is another amazing example for a glass subject to better demonstrate the capabilities of this workflow i chose this product you can see how well it managed to show the table behind this glass product if you look closely the workflow is designed in a way that it first cuts out the products and removes the background but since it detects that the object is made of glass it also displays the part of the environment that is behind the glass at the same time it has accurately respected the physics of glass here you can see this part of the table which has a straight edge indicating one of the sides of the table is going in that direction has become bent due to the curved shape of our glass product it has managed to distort and curve the image realistically following logical reflections principles it is truly impressive guys no matter how much i say about its features it is still not enough you have so much flexibility with it okay after all i should say after generating the image with this workflow you can upscale it to an even higher quality as you know i have a couple of workflows which you can use them to upscale your image and here i put the link above so you can access it download it and enhance the quality of your product image even further now to help you create a video from your product i'm going to introduce you the best platform out there in my opinion open art which i've talked about a lot before you will go through the link i've provided which also helps support me a bit because it's an affiliate link and after signing up and choosing a plan you will have some options here and you choose videos here they've gathered the best ai video generators in one place and you can use any of them for a very reasonable price They've added Kling version 2 which is absolutely amazing when it comes to understanding prompts and generating videos. It's honestly mind-blowing. You'll also find version 1.5 and some other models but I highly recommend Kling. It creates super realistic videos without messing up the look of your product. Well, first test it with version 1.5 then try version 2. Here you upload your image, enter your prompt, adjust all the settings, and hit start. Let's see what the result looks like. Okay, as you can see, the result is incredible. Look at the precision, guys. Now 
let's try the same with Cling version 2. Nothing's real. What the hell? Kelvin's here. How could such passion die? Wait, don't go. This time I And this is the result. How could my memory fail? No goodbye. How could a movie die? Please stay. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next videos.